well, across Africa, huge inf infrastructural projects are transforming the continent's landscape and fueling record economic growth. However, many wonder what specific sectors should be prioritized to propel Africa into greater prosperity. Joining me to discuss the issue is Dr. Thomas Mensah. He's a Ghanaian-American chemical engineer and inventor. Now, he's an expert in the development of fiber optics and nanotechnology. In fact, some of his inventions are in use inside our studios right now. Dr. Mensah, welcome to Africa 54. Thanks. Vincent. Now, I mentioned that uh, some of your inventions, uh, inventions are uh, in use. Can you just briefly explain why, why I said that? Well, social media is a big thing. Yeah. And as you know, in the 80s, I'm one of the four inventors of fiber optics. Yeah. And this allowed the Internet to explode because now you have uh, fiber optics being used as on the sea cable connecting Africa, yeah. G China, yeah. Japan, everywhere. Exactly. So you can call Japan, you can send Facebook pictures to Japan, to China, all over the world because of that technology. Because of that and most fast and most of it you've explained in your book, uh, uh, black, uh, the, the, right, oh, the right stuff comes in black, black too. too. Yes. And that's, this is the right stuff. Eh? Yes. And the brain's behind it. Yeah. This so is, great. This is the second edition. And so that's your copy. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So we'll, we'll hopefully read a lot more about you. But let's talk about how technology can be applied, especially in the sector of transportation in Africa, in order to help the continent grow even faster and get even more prosperous. Yeah, we are proposing that uh, African countries kind of leapfrog yeah. by implementing serious strategic infrastructure projects. For example, high-speed train. Uh, what you see here yeah. basically yeah. is a proposal to yeah. the Ghana government. Mm -hmm. And actually, I had a meeting with the president of Ghana yeah. uh, last Friday on this. The idea is to have a bullet train, high-speed train, going from the south, which is Accra, the yeah. main capital, and yeah. Takradi, through Kumasi, all yeah. the way to the border, mm -hmm. to Tamale. Yeah. And what this does is that instead of taking four days to go from the south to the north by trucks or by train, whatever, yeah. you can take one and a half hours. Yeah. So technically speaking, you can even live in Tamale and work here. Yeah. So you, you get the sense that, uh, you know, if, if and across the continent, we could have these speed trains, yes. these really fast-moving trains yes. like they have now built. I think in Kenya they have one now from the port of Mombasa to yes. inland. Yes. That on its own can play a big role in yes. creating wealth and uh, helping the countries to grow. Yeah, this is, this is very, very important. Yeah. Currently you have Morocco has one, yeah. uh, Ethiopia has one, and as you mentioned, Kenya. Now, in West Africa, this will be the first. In Ghana, it will be in the Ghana. first. Yeah. And this will be very important because another proposal we have is that you're going to put fiber optics cable along the train mm. route. Yes. And as you go up, you can actually branch off into the different rural areas with this fiber. So internet will be everywhere. So but, the but most importantly, Vincent, you're going to have these trains traveling at 200 miles per hour and with a fiber optic cable, using the Wi-Fi in the train, you can connect to the Internet. So you're saying, in fact, uh, that, that there will be like a double or triple benefit in terms of advancement and spread of technology across the country. Exactly. Yeah. With this single project, what it will do it, is you can create factories along the train route mm -hmm. that will supply to the train. So if you look at this, the China has about 40 trains. When I first proposed this, yeah. uh, to, you know, in America, you know, got, uh, America is building, yeah. you know, from California now, two in California. They have built 40 in 10 years. That means they build four every year, which means China, for example, can build this train in less than three years. Mm -hmm. And what it will do is that it will create jobs that's needed. You know, you can train people from high schools to be mechanics, from colleges, universities, to be part of this infrastructure development, mm -hmm. to be a strategic infrastructure, which means even if you manufacture anything in the factories, you just put it on a high-speed rail and already it's in the port to right. go all over the world. So this is transformational for any country that develops the technology. And, and as you know, 
all the experts in the diaspora, myself, everybody will be eager to go back to their countries. Just like folks trained, Indians that were trained here, yeah. Chinese that were trained here, went back home and helped their country develop. This high-speed train is built. All of us will be advisors, will be back helping the country implement this. And they need the maintenance yeah. of this train, the maintenance and operation alone would really create in some places about a million we, jobs. You know, we hope uh, those leaders are listening to great brains like you so that, uh, in fact, they can not only help the countries but also uh, connect with the rest of the world. Thank you very much for sharing this with us and congratulations for your work. Thank you. Well, that's uh, uh, Thomas Mensah, who is a, a Ghanaian uh, American chemical engineer and a